So we learned last week a bit about uh, the office of a bishop. We learned about the office of a deacon. Uh, we talked about why God has authority in the local church for, for various reasons. You can go back and listen to that sermon. Um, and, you know, the fact that um, men are ordained to be leaders in the church and not women. And it's not because women are of any less value. It's just because that's how God has ordained it. And uh, women have a tendency to be more easily deceived. So God put men in charge, not only because God are accountable to men, but also because men have a tendency to be uh, more solid on the truth and on what they believe. And that's just not how God has, has, has ordained it. Um, you know, the world is trying to change that. You know, the world is trying to put women in charge and trying to put women in charge in the church, but that's not how God would have it. And as Bible-believing Christians, we need to hold to the truth because if we don't, uh, you know, one danger is, is if we start to compromise on what the Bible clearly says, then it's hard to take a stand on anything the Bible says, right? Because when the Bible starts to say other things, you know, people say, well, you're being inconsistent because the Bible clearly says here that, you know, the bishop and the deacon should be men and should be the husband of one wife. And if you're not going to take that literally, why should we take anything literally? Why should we take the resurrection literally? Why should we take uh, what Jesus taught about salvation literally? So it, it is very important that when things are clearly stated in the Bible that we need to accept it as Bible-believing Christians. Otherwise, we destroy our own foundation from underneath our feet.